pretty you guys got another dash cam review this is the eight man c860 now this is uh, not a touch screen uh, dash cam but it does come with two uh, dash cams in here one 1440p and one 1080p rear facing now the screen size is 2.7 inch ftf color lcd screen on the main 1440p camera has 150 degree wide angle lens on here six glass lenses inside there and an ir sensor the compact mode is h264 and also video mode mov image uh, format is jpeg the battery capacity is 420 milliamp hours as a 2.0 USB port works with uh, XP, Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 and Mac. The SD class is micro SD and you need class 10 and 32 gigs or below and that's not included in the kit. Now it does have loop recording and it also has super night vision and parking uh, monitor as well. WDR uh, which I didn't have enabled in this video test uh, by my own fault and also uh, this is like I said full HD which is 1440p now the thing I found is when you have both cameras plugged in uh, you only get 1080p on both but there may be a setting that actually changes that but this is everything you're going to get inside the kit which is quite a lot you get your user manual and uh, this is in many different languages this is going to help you set up your dash cam it's pretty straightforward you also get your warranty card here with some helpful information on there if you need to uh, contact them you get your big cable here uh, which is for your rear camera and this will go all the way to the back of the car you can route that around the moldings and stuff to get a nice finish you've got your usb charging cable uh, here as well you also have your adapter with two usb ports which will plug into your cigarette lighter uh, which will uh, actually charge the camera itself and you get a spare one to charge your phone this long cable is for your 1440p camera which faces out the front of your window screen and it has a USB on there as you can see there which will go straight to the uh, charger now the mounting system for the front facing camera is this suction cup mount and I do like these mounts they're really easy to get into position you want to get this as close to the window as possible so you don't get no reflection back off the uh, camera lens and uh, that's sometimes uh, unavoidable you can't avoid that because obviously the glare off the screen the rear facing camera has this mount here which does come with 3M tape and uh, we got another spare bracket there and also three more uh, 3m tapes here so there's four of them there and you also got another bracket with another 3m tape sticker on the 1080p camera which is for the rear of the car now i'm going to have these facing forward because obviously uh ease of uh, setup for this review it's just going to be a lot easier to uh set up and you can see here there is a little mechanism on here which allows you to get it close to the screen and uh, you've got that charging uh, port there now you, the cables will need to be routed around the molding to keep them all nice and tidy otherwise you're going to end up having cable everywhere but it's it's going to probably set you back a couple of hours of time to set this up properly and get it all done correctly now you can see here this is the actual dash cam for the front of the car and uh, it's quite a big dash cam as you can see a 1440p so you do expect to get pretty good uh, quality images day and night the microphone on this works pretty well as well and uh, again the wide angle does give you that lovely uh, clear picture as well and get a lot more uh, of the road in the camera you also got a parking mode and also uh, emergency recording and stuff like that you've got your charging uh, port here for one of your front of the cameras and also for the rear of the camera for rear camera as well and uh, there's your mounting system there now sadly it's not a touch screen you've got your tf card inside here make sure you get a class 10 for that otherwise you're going to run into problems with recording it might uh, be a bit jerky and stuff like that so make sure you get a fast enough card to handle that you've got some ventilation and stuff like that on here you've got your power button and reset button on this side uh, as well uh, for the actual camera itself now again as i said it's a button navigation uh, system on here so it's not a touch screen it would have been nice to see a touch screen on here but this sort of price point it's sort of to be expected really but you can see here you've got a menu button and some navigation buttons here pretty easy to navigate and you can navigate on here you can have the screen to automatically turn off or have it on all times so here is just one of the uh, 
power leads on there and you can see the two LED lights at the top it will let you know uh, when it starts to record when as soon as you turn the car on it will start to record now also here you can see the displays you can change the display down to 1080 at 60 frames per second these are the screen resolutions 1440p at 30 frames per second and 19 uh, 20 by 1080 at 60 frames now you've got your screen display for your front camera and also uh, you've got your loop recording set at three minutes voice setup uh, is on and you can turn that on or off and also the exposure we also have a stamp set up here and also language you can change the language date and time which is always advisable to set up uh, driver ID settings uh, button beep and also startup chime there for just the beeping that you would hear when you're navigating through here you can turn those off LCD auto off and WDR oh, now I forgot to enable WDR I left it off by default it's off but I needed to enable that and I forgot to enable so frequency is 50 Hertz and also you can format the card from in, inside here as well and you've got your version number and stuff like that for the firmware going on to the settings there you can go into here feature feature settings you can see driver fatigue alarm also uh, remind lights also motion detection parking monitoring and uh, stuff like that you can pretty much put those on if you wanted to and uh, G sensor uh, sensitivity is set to medium as well you can change that so they're all your menu settings now if you're going to be setting this up you can see the cables here when they're plugged into the camera here you can see the front ones in and the back one there as well and you would have to tidily put these all around uh, your moldings in your car you may have to uh, unscrew some and put them tuck them behind there and screw it back in so you can't see the cabling once you've got it into place you don't have to uh, take it off and you shouldn't see any of that cabling uh, sadly it doesn't come with any sort of clips or ties so you will have to uh, think about that and here is the rear facing camera now the thing I run into when I was recording with both cameras it seemed to record both of the cameras at 1080p and I think I made a mistake somehow so uh, I think it can record 1440p and 1080p so here is uh, the WDR is off and we're recording here at 1440p 30 frames per second so you're getting a bit of a glare back off the screen here and that's because I didn't have the camera right up against the screen so that's uh, my fault but you do get a really clear image as you can see here so this is still the 2k uh, camera uh, recording so it's a pretty nice quality image yeah, about seven o'clock in the evening now still nice and hot we get back to the bar beyond so as you can hear the microphone is not too bad you get a pretty decent microphone and uh, the footage I will show you of the rear camera a little bit later on I'll do a comparison facing the same way so you'll see both of the cameras and see what the quality looks like now you do have to obviously get these set up exactly how you want it so you're not getting no glare now and you're getting a really clear picture on that um, dash cam as you can see there and uh, this is without WDR on and we're getting a really nice image and that's ex really important especially uh, when you're uh, trying to get evidence if you had an incident or stuff like that and you can see here it picks up the number plates and stuff like that so it's pretty good and that sort of stuff so let's have a look at some night time here at 1080p with no street lights and just the car lights on and uh, you can see here it still does a really good job and this is at 1080p so these are the orange type lights here moving on into the white clear lighting you'll see it straight ahead so we should get the nice white LED lights here and you get a really clear image as you can see now this is only 1080p I was recording here at night time and uh, I think it was 30 frames per second and you can also see this is the orange style lights again so to give you a sort of a variation of different lighting that what you can expect and remember we are uh, only getting to ATP here we're not recording at 1440p and this is from the forward facing camera so I'll just speed up down here and we'll go into an area where there's no lighting again and you can see the transition from lighting to uh, no lighting it copes with that really fine 
Now this is both the cameras. This is one of the cameras uh, facing forward at 1080p and uh, you can see the quality. You get a bit of a glare off the screen there so I didn't have it forward enough but you can see the sort of quality that you get and I'll show you exactly the same footage with the second camera and you'll see. So here we are the same footage exactly the same time and you can see here 1080p and I think this is the rear facing camera. Get a bit more um, saturation in the camera there so I'm not sure which one this was I couldn't um, work out which one it was I think this would be the smaller camera so that is the 8man C860 uh, dual uh, dash cam uh, so if you're interested in that I'll leave the link in the video description for you it's a pretty decent dash cam it's around about 90 pounds which is about hundred dollars you may get a promo code I'll try and get one for you if I do I'll leave that in the video description anyway have a great day enjoy the weather and I shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.